What's going on guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den. On this episode's Box Talk edition, what we're gonna be talking about are my two favorite barbells and most commonly used barbells here at the Lion's Den that you need for your garage gym or just in your gym in general. All right guys, so disclaimer before we even get into this barbell talk is going to be do not be a cheap bastard when buying a barbell, okay? If you are buying a barbell, make the investment. It's going to be a little bit extra money, okay? But it will be worth it. So buy once, be smart. You don't want your bar to bend or break on you, okay? Especially if you're squatting really heavy, this can be very dangerous. So invest in a good bar. It's gonna last you a very long time. For the most part, most companies are gonna do a lifetime guarantee on the bar if anything happens which is a huge perk, so you might as well just put out the money. Now we're just gonna dive into it on the two most common bars that everyone uses in my gym and that I would recommend if you guys are starting a garage gym or have your own gym, you need to have these two bars in your gym if you wanna get it done. So the first bar that we're gonna talk about is going to be the Rogue Ohio Bar, okay? And I'm gonna go over the pros, the cons, and the specs of this bar and then compare it to the second bar. Now. This bar I've had for two years. I have over 12 of them in my gym and it's pretty much the same exact condition as it was when I got it. So they hold up very well, which is a huge pro. And you're gonna get this bar for about $280, okay? Give or take, depends if you get black or silver or the stainless steel, okay? That's gonna affect the price a little bit, but roughly you're gonna be around the 280 to $300 mark for this barbell. But like I said, great value and quality. So. The other reason I really love this bar is how versatile it is. Now you guys know I have Olympic weightlifting background and you can do clean jerks and snatches with this bar. Uh, it does have two knurling lines here, so if you're going for a snatch grip or if you're gonna bring it in a little bit for your clean or pressing or whatever, you can size it up perfectly with uh, the knurling lines on the barbell. And I really do like that. Now, the other thing about this bar is that it has a little bit of whip in it. So like I said, if you are doing cleans or Olympic lifting, right? It's gonna have a little bit of whip, which is nice compared to a stiff bar. Now, uh, the cons could also be that it does have a little bit of whip. So if you don't like whip, you know, there's not a lot on there, but just take note that there is slightly a little bit of whip. Uh, you can also do all the powerlifting lifts. You can bend, squat, delft, overhead press with this bar, which is a huge perk. So you can pretty much get it done if you are just any sort of general strength and conditioning athlete, this bar is great for you and it's a good purchase. Now, like I said, the con could be the whip. Uh, the other thing could be that the knurling isn't aggressive enough. So on this knurling, uh, it's not enough that's gonna chunk your hand or anything like that. It still gives you some decent grip, but not as much compared to some other bars that are out there. Uh, the other thing is that there is no center knurling. Okay, so if you're looking to back squat really heavy, it's nice to have a center knurling on the bar so it can grip into your shirt a little bit. Uh, but to each his own, overall, like I said, standard, awesome bar across the board. Uh, so I, I really do like this. Now in terms of the specs on the bar, so the length of the bar is gonna be 86.75 centimeters total, okay? And then the collar we have 16.4 on each end. It's gonna be a little bit longer of a collar and I think that's actually gonna help with the whip, okay? So the heavier you get, it's gonna have a little bit more whip to it. Uh, diameter of the bar is gonna be 28.5 millimeters which I like because it's good for Olympic lifting, especially if you wanna get that hook grip, it's gonna be a little bit easier than other bars that are gonna be out there. On um, the weight, you get 45 pounds or 20 kilos, depending on if you like kilos or if you like pounds. Uh, and then the, the, the tensile strength is gonna be 190K, okay? So across the board, like I said, just a great bar, a little bit of whip, but can get the job done with pretty much anything. So I highly recommend that you have this in your arsenal of barbells at your gym or in your garage. So moving on to the second most commonly used bar in the gym, it's gonna be the Ohio Power Bar. And for this bar, you can get it for roughly about $250 to $325, depending, like I said, on the color, the coat that you get, uh, but it's still a really good quality bar, so I highly recommend purchasing this and putting it into your arsenal. So what are the pros, cons, and the specs? So a very awesome pro of this bar is gonna be the aggressive knurling, okay? So right off the bat, when you put your hands in this bar, it's a lot sharper and you're gonna have way better grip on this bar. Uh, the other thing that's cool is it does have a center knurling. So if you're doing squats, this is great, even if you're sweaty, because it will dig into your back or your shirt or whatever you got going on uh, to keep the bar stable and on your back. Now, 
Uh, does not have double lines, so for Olympic weightlifting marks. However, on Rogue, it did say it was a weightlifting and uh, powerlifting bar, but I would not use this for clean jerks or snatches. Uh, and if you're doing it with pressing, one thing you do have to make a little bit of caution with is when you're coming down that this doesn't get you right in the throat because it will mess you up pretty good. The other thing with this is that there is not much whip in this bar, okay? So that could be a pro or a con, depending uh, what kind of lifter you are. Some people like to deadlift with whip or without whip. So this is gonna be a lot different than a Texas deadlift bar. But overall, those are kind of the pros and the cons, which it's kind of neutral, it just depends on what kind of lifter you are, but I highly recommend this bar uh, for powerlifting purposes, doing the squat, the bench, the deadlift, and the overhead press. And uh, it's just a good tool to have as well as the Ohio bar. Now for the specs of this bar, the length is gonna be 86.25, okay? The collar is gonna be 16.25. The diameter is gonna be 29 millimeters. So the diameter of this bar is a little bit thicker than the Ohio bar, okay? So that's one thing to note. Uh, so with hook gripping, it's just gonna feel slightly thicker. Uh, to me, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it would if I was doing Olympic lifts. But with this bar, I never do them, so it doesn't matter and I'm cool with it. Uh, the weight of it's 45 pounds, and I think you can get it in 20 kilos as well. And then the tensile is going to be 200 to 200 and, uh, 205 k, so from 200 to 205. And that is why there's not much whip in this bar. Bar to collar uh, measure is going to be 51.5, and I know that's different with some deadlift bars where this will actually be longer if people are doing sumo deadlifts, right? They have to get a longer, wider stance. Uh, but this is 51.5, so other bars will probably be longer or maybe a little bit shorter depending what they're used for. But yeah, so that's my first video review. Hopefully you guys like these and if you guys did, make sure you drop down in the comment section what your favorite barbell is that you train with. I'm sure as I get more barbells, I'll do more product reviews or maybe a specialty bar review coming up next or something like that. Uh, but I just kinda wanna close out by saying that if you wanna have a good versatile bar, we're gonna be doing Oli and powerlifting. The Ohio bar is a good way to go. Now if you're not doing Oli, I would recommend the Ohio power bar, okay? The only thing with this though, is that there's not going to be much whip in this bar. So if you'd like to deadlift with whip, I would recommend the Texas deadlifting bar. Uh, so check that out. Uh, but overall, fun bars to use. We use them every day here at the Lion's Den. And hopefully this helped you maybe make the decision on where to start or what kind of barbell to use. So if you guys like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends. Until next time, stay lean, me strike machines guys, and I will see you then.